Hey, hello, 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 hello. Alright, so I gotta make this fast. I keep saying this every day and it never ends up to be a fast video. But today's topic, and I can't get my camera adjusted the right way. So today's topic, I wanted to talk about things that annoy me, frustrate me, piss me off, um, irritate me, piss me off, just stuff like that. Um, so th there's a bunch of things that really annoy me. First off, um, I'm going to say that uh, people that, <sighs> people like walk as slow as you can in front of me like you're walking in front of me like say at the mall or whatever and you're just like this like you're barely moving but you cut me you you cut me to get in front of me to what to walk so slowly I don't get it and then you stand in the middle of the hallway like in the middle of the mall and people are just standing in the middle of the mall move to the side people need to walk past you move to the side I, it's not that difficult it pisses me off um i cannot stand when people stand in the middle of the door yelling at the person for you know being in your way it pisses me off it irritates the shit out of me um asking me a stupid question like is a penny solid or it's or is it a liquid I mean, what is up with that? Are you, really? Why are you asking me that? You know, ask me which book I'm, I'm reading, you know. Move two inches and read the side. Like, you don't even have to ask me. Just look at the book. Don't ask. Just look at the cover. You have eyeballs. That's the beauty of eyes. You can see what I'm reading. Um... Being a girl and telling me to cut my hair because, um, or, I'm sorry, being a girl and telling me to let my hair grow because it's too short pisses me off. Like, if I want to have short hair, I think I'm entitled to having short hair. If you don't like it, um, that's fine. I am, again, I'm not put on this earth to make you like me or, or make you like my short hair. I'm not going to grow my hair out because you want me to and because I'm a girl and you think I should have long hair. I used to have long hair for like almost my whole entire life. It will never happen again. No. <laughs> Stop asking me. Um, another thing, people will ask me why do you have short hair? You know, like why don't you like having long hair? Well, why do you, why do some boys have really long hair nowadays? What's up with that? It's reverse psychology. It's a double standard. It's okay for boys to have long hair now, but if a girl has short hair, it's a horrible thing, and I immediately have to cut it. Stop being, you know, a genderist. I mean, I know that that's not the correct term I'm looking for. Totally not. Feminist? I don't fucking know what the word I'm trying to look for. Singing a rap song near me. Do not do it. I will kill you. In your sleep. Drumming with your pencil. You know, like when people have a pencil in their hand and they're like, I want to fucking kill you. Like, what? Don't, don't do this. You're not in a band, and this isn't, you know, whatever that show is, the, the band of, what is that called? Battle of the Bands, or whatever. It's not Battle of the Bands. Put down your pencil. Use it to fucking write, not to drum with it. It's fucking annoying me, and then probably annoying everybody else. Saying, dog, what's up, the n-word tight straight up my cat just scared the fuck out of me um 
you know, saying, uh, where the fuck was I? <laughs> um, tight, you know, straight up. What's up, bitch? Um, you know, the end be tripping. Okay. I speak English. I don't speak bingo. Learn to speak English, not bingo. Don't ever come up to me and say, what's up, dog? What's up, ho? This shit is tight. Don't, don't. You make yourself look like a dumbass right there. Right then and there, you look like a fucking asshole. Don't do it. Um, calling me stupid because I don't know the answer to a stupid example. Sorry, I don't have an example. I just don't right now. Talking in a fake ghetto accent, like, I'm dead serious. I know many people that are like this. Like, they will talk in a super, super ghetto voice, and they're whiter than me being whitewashed right now. Put their pants down. You know, it's like, what, are you a robot? What are you doing? Um, laughing at the most unfunniest, the unfunniest, laughing at the most unhumorous things, you know, like some, someone making and like, so not the animal that they're making sound and you're laughing like crazy. Don't do that around me. Don't make funny unfunny fucking animal noises that don't even sound like the animal that you're fucking doing. Like, you're trying to be like a horse and you're like, Nah! What the fuck? That's like... A, 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 I don't even know. That's something that I, I... It's not even an animal. It's not an animal. Um, speaking in another language in front of me while looking at me... Okay, number one, I'm paranoid. Two, if you're speaking in a different language and you're looking right in front of me, I know you're fucking talking about me. I know it. So, because if you're not, why wouldn't you just speak whatever language or speak English? Because I know you can speak English. So, why do you got to speak your language and be like, bitch? Now, I'm not making fun of anybody, so it's supposed to be a joke. I'm just saying, I cannot stand when people do that. Don't speak. I mean, I speak Italian and I speak normal languages in front of you. If I want to talk shit about you, I'm going to do it not by you, not in front of your face, bitch. <laughs> um, another thing that fucking pisses me off to the core, um, <clears throat> is, you know, like, people getting mad at me because, you know, like, I'll cut them off, like, walking because they're walking three miles an hour, so I walk past them, like, if I'm walking in the mall or whatever, kind of like the one I first said, don't get mad at me that I'm passing you, stop walking like a snail's pace and I wouldn't have to walk in front of you. I'm not being rude, I want to just get my exercise on. Um, <clears throat> sorry, garbage people are out there. So another thing I can't stand is people who say all rock and people who say like, how do I put this, all rock and people screaming in the microphone, like and rap and groan adults rhyming, cat, hat, dog, you're a rapper. No, you're not. You're not a rapper, you're a retard. Because what what even was that? Cat, hat, dog. And you, you got those you're not a rapper. Stop acting like you are. Um, people who act like, you know, they're something they're not. And I don't want to get too specific without getting, you know, people mad right now, but that pisses me off. Um now, another one that pisses me off is people who say I have no life because I'm inside more than um, outside. Okay, that doesn't make me have no life. It means that I'm more content. I'm content being in the house. I don't need to be out at parties, drinking, doing stupid things to have a life. Like, you're stupid if... You're telling me I don't have no life. What makes you, what really, if you think you, what, think about it. What 
really, what is a definition of a life? It's a living, breathing person. That's a life, not what exactly what you do. I mean, I can't stand that. <clears throat> People who assume I'm like, um, not goth or emo, you know, because I'm a girl with friggin' short hair, but, you know, and I'm not the tannest person, you know, I don't spend time at the fucking tanning beds because I don't want to kill myself, you know, early, you know, and I, I don't wear dark clothes. I, I wear sweatpants and t-shirts so people automatically assume that I'm just being a bum. That's what I say to you. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I can't stand my one of my friends claim claiming all pasta is served or should be served cold I'm Italian bitch pasta should not be served cold never never serve pasta cold you're not a true Italiano if you're serving pasta fucking cold um, the fact that, you know, one girl thinks that, like, every single man in the world or every single boy or guy or whatever likes them. No. Stop boosting your freaking ego. I'm not saying that you're not pretty or whatever, but not every single person is going to like you because you're, you're pretty. I mean, everybody has different types of people that they like. You know, and then, you know, there's another one. I, well, I have lots of them. But people who hate people just because you're you or because of the way um, you sound on a microphone. Like, dead serious. I don't like the way I sound <clears throat> on a microphone, but I can't help that. So when people don't like you for who you really are, well, then again... The fact that our economy sucks. The fact that people smoke in front of me and blow it in my face. <sighs> Bitch, I will kill you in your sleep. Don't do that. Like, it, it's not attractive. It, it's just stupid. It makes you look stupid. Um, people who assume the worst of people and... Judging by a book by its cover, when you're not annoying me, I'm a very nice, cool, laid-back, awesome person to be around. But when you assume the worst of people, that pisses me off. Do not judge a book by its cover. Don't assume shit about people because it makes an ass out of you and out of me. Get it? Ass. You. Me. Never mind. Um... People who don't know what they're talking about. Like, before you speak, know what you're speaking about and talking about because that irritates me. Like, when you're trying to explain something to me and you have no idea what you're talking about, I'm like... Say it again? What? I don't even know what the fuck they're speaking. I don't even know what they're saying. You know? Um, it's snowing. It's totally snowing right now. It's pretty. But fucking cold. Um, another thing I can't stand was when people block my view. I don't know why I just brought that up. Probably because I'm looking at the snow blowing. That's what she said. Um, people that block my, my view. You know. Oh my god. Don't do that. Like. Like I'm, I'm, I'm at a movie theater. Watching a movie and the person in front of me is like this. Why are you standing? It's a movie theater. You're supposed to be sitting in a seat. You know? Posers. I can't stand them. Don't ever be a poser around me. Be yourself. Be be who you are. Um, because I, I don't... I don't like posers. People who are self-centered. You know? I just think you should just be you. And not... 
a self-centered person, you know, just be yourself. I'm sure my list can go on and on and on, but this video has already been 15 and 8 seconds long, and I just kind of rambled about things that annoy me or piss me off or frustrate me. I don't even know really what I should title this because I said a lot of things, and I said a lot of things that frustrate me. And I used a lot of different words. Man, it's going to be hard to edit. So that is it for now. And people that wear their hats like this, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. I don't care what color you are. Don't do it. It doesn't make you look cool. It makes you look like an ass. I can tolerate your, your hat being like this. I could tolerate your hat maybe being like this. I could tolerate, you know, the backwards hat like this. I don't mind them like this, but when people have their hats like this, like barely on top of their head, it's just like kind of like hanging out, like chilling. It looks like you have like five heads. I mean, my head's like here, and it's all the way up to here. Like, what is this? Are you like doing a balancing act? And then you like, you twist it. Don't do that. Don't do that in public. You look like an asshole. I'm cool with having your hat like this, you know, or maybe as long as it's on your head and it looks semi-normal, I don't really care. And definitely the last but not the least one, pull your fucking pants up. I cannot stand. I don't know how many times I see it when there are people girls actually too girls and guys that will walk like this okay and this is not even a joke i'm dead serious this is how they walk like this so and they're like bending down and they're like oh you know pretending that they, well not pretending but they're really getting something and it's like uh you have your ass in my face with your pants sagged so much right here that it looks like you took a shit and your your pants your boxers are hanging out it's like what and then or when people walk like this like what are you doing are you touching yourself in public what i don't understand pull your pants up you look like a fucking asshole. And before I go, do you actually know what it means when um, you actually have your pants down like that? Google it. Seriously, Google it. When I found out what it actually meant, um, this is a pain patch right here, if you were wondering what this was. <laughs> but um, it actually originated from a prison that guys that wanted to be have sex with other inmates, they would wear their pants really, really low to let them know that they were cool with doing that. I am so dead serious. Look it up. Go on Google right now and type in why people wear their pants so low. It's not a, fas it's not a, a fashion statement. It's just, it means you want. But the kids these days don't know that it, it's they think it's fashion, but really it's just. So, that's it. Peace and love. I love you guys. Peace. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah. So, be cool, be kind, don't judge. Well, judge, I guess, if you have to. No, don't judge. I'm not judging. These are just things that piss me off. I can't stand this stuff. All right. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say move back. Okay, maybe just move back a little bit. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good day, good night, good evening, good morning. 
sleeping time, whatever you're doing, and I'll talk to you soon. I'm out. I love you guys. Bye.